Hello, once again. Now we are taking uh, the another sub little bit of advance and I want you to watch all the videos very carefully because if you directly jump to this video, you will find little bit of you know, trouble in understanding. So this question is a very nice question and institute has asked this question I guess twice or thrice. So just look into this. A uh, university has 3000 students. So number of students were 3000. These students are divided in four categories. So all these students are divided either they have taken B.Tech, OMTech, MS or PhD. Draw a flow chart for finding the percentage of the student in each category. Okay. What does it mean? Let me let me make you understand the question first. There are total 3000 students. So some people have taken B.Tech. Say for example, there are 500 students who have taken B.Tech. So what is the percentage in each category? So for in BTEC category, you will find a percentage like this. 500 divided by 3000 into 100. So basically this will get, okay. Likewise. So you just need to calculate the percentage. So same way it will go like MTech. Suppose in MTech, there are 300 students. So obviously again, you will calculate the percentage like this, 3000. 200 so we have to cut this 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 it comes to around 10 percent yeah likewise so we have to calculate here it will come somewhere say 15 percent around around 15 percent i'm not saying exactly 15 but around 15 percent so likewise we have to calculate the percentage ah uh, yeah yeah i know i know that little tricky sum but it is not actually tricky sum you can understand it very well but let me start first so first uh, you will have to have a start button perfectly fine input okay so input is what there are number of students 3000 number of students so so the sir so what will be as uh, you need to understand that which category the student belongs to so input will be k so we i need to write here read k because data is already there we need to find out Read k. Okay. I'll be using some variable to define them. Either I'll make them zero or something like this. Okay. So look at this very careful. This is the start point. So here I'm making a decision box whereby I want to know whether this student, the first student, that is n is equal to one. The number one student is category B take or who he is. So inverted comma is to represent the textual data. So this is why it is inverted comma. So K is equal to B take. If the answer to this question either comes yes or answer to this question may come no, whatever way. If it is yes, then I want that answer to get summed up like total so that I can count the number of times it got yes. So let's have a B is equal to B plus 1 so I have to define the B's value out here so B is equal to 0 initially the B value will be 0 but what if the answer goes negative that means I have to again check either the student belongs to some other category so I will check if the student belong to M tech category okay if the answer comes yes, then I have to take the total number of times mtech got yes. So that I am storing here the total. Here I am storing the total number of students. Total numbers. That is why the value was initially 0. Here I am using the word variable m. m is a bucket where the value will be stored. So m is equal to m plus 1. Again I have to define the m as a 0. So what I am doing is, let's have this m also 0 or, or we can do something like this let's not have the this box only so that we can write all one by one so, uh, this will go something like this little big one fine so the, again the value got m again i have to ask a question whether the answer is no if the answer is no again you have to check if the category is which one was the category ms and phd there are two more categories left okay say for example the student belongs to ms category 
if it is ms then i want every time it is ms then i want total of the ms so ms is in my variable ms is variable i can take your k f whatever you want to take ms is my bucket so ms plus 1 again it will take the total of the ms okay fine if the answer to this question is again no then definitely the student belongs to category called phd so that comes to p is equal to p plus 1 so you can see my program the program will either go down 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 to p or it may take left turn or it may take here or it may take so it depends upon that it may take any turn for that matter if the answer is yes every time it takes turn the total should get you know so it, sh it should get added to this one okay i don't want to end the program right now so i will have to take it up again by asking a question is n is equal to 3000 because there are total number of 3000 if answer to this question is no then the program should go up but before it goes up i want value to be changed so that it is counting n n is equal to n plus 1 so now the this will go oh i know i know i know it's not straight uh, you will manage i know oh it should not go so up it should go here only no Better than yours. Okay. Nice one. Now, we can see this one. Let me have a little bit uh, zoom out. Now, can you see this? Okay, perfect. Now, it cannot be loose end. So, we have to bring it to down somewhere. So, let's, let's bring it here. So all the programs are coming down. Little tricky some, but not very tough to understand. Now we can see that everything is coming down. So understand now the pro just understand the program. Uh, this line which I have drawn here, this line, uh, this is creating a loop. So either the B Tech student is there, or the M Tech, or maybe MS. Or the PhD directly. We don't need to ask if the student belongs to PhD because the final category will be the PhD. So total 3,000 students. So this this will run 3,000 times this entire circle. And once the circle is done, then the program will stop. So once the program stops, then I will have a total in all these buckets B bucket M M S P. So I need to find out the percentage. So see how I am calculating the percentage. Let me zoom it a little bit. So I am calculating the percentage. So to calculate the percentage, I am creating a single box. You can create a multiple boxes, no problem. You can create a single box also, no problem. So first was the B text. So B is equal to total B. B was a total. Remember that? Divide by. I am dividing it by 30. See, understand. If B is say 300, dividing by 3000, and I have to do 100. So, this 100 to 0 is cut. So, I am taking 30 only. Automatically, it will become percentage. Sometime, we can take another variable called P, B, percentage of B. We can take percentage of M. It's up to us. M divided by 30. You remember, percentage of M, S. That is, M, S divided by 30 so all the percentage are getting calculated it's pp percentage of phd is 30 so all the percentage are getting calculated here now i will have to print these values so here is the values getting printed print pp pm pms and pp whatever variable you take you need to define it and then stop the program now you can see the program exactly how it looks let me zoom out you check now how it starts 
so reading was only k category there was nothing to be there ha huh. here you need to define the ms as 0 and this p was 0 so in no case it should go out ha huh? we have to have the values in the box only if it is out your marks will be deducted for that so always make sure that you prepare it at the end so that all the values are in the box is that clear so this is the final answer for the question categories of student in each courses we need to find the percentage of so percentage is calculated out here you can see the answer now this is an answer so do one thing you try by yourself first and then after you copy the answer if you try yourself even if it is wrong don't need to worry again look at the answer and then again try once again okay chalo thank you very much